currently right here as you can see from home I went down came down off of uh, the right mountain road community I just pulled over right here off of Pacific Crest and I'm watching the operations go on right here right here as you can see they still have the two closed from Sheep Creek including Wright Mountain Road still closed and right now the helicopter looks like he's dropping right here right in the middle of the screen somewhere along this ridge and then he dropped a little bit right here right now the helicopter is circling in this area center of screen well, the fire is not looking as bad as it did last night all right here we are it's about 8 45 in the morning came down here to get a better view of the fire so I am in that lower neighborhood right now. And you can see that street sign right there. That's Wright Mountain Road. Wright Mountain Road. Highway 2 is just down that way. And there's that ridge that's been on fire since last night. Got a lot of aircraft coming in since this morning. Uh, dropping right on it. The two is still closed from Sheep Creek and Wright Mountain Road all the way to the 138, which would be down that way. Down that way is Desert Front Road, and then the 138 is basically on the other side of this hill here. And home, home is right up there. So, let's see, right where that house is at up there. That house, and then our house is just below it on Lone Pine up there. That's Lone Pine. You can see another house up there. And then that goes out that way towards the 15. So that's why from last night, we were able to get such a good view of it. Actually that house right there is where I parked last night to get a view of the fire right there. So it looks like it has burned on the other side of that ridge. Uh, the helicopter just did a drop and when he dropped, he dropped on the back side of the ridge there. Uh, it's going to be a little challenging to get much better of a view or a shot just because of the uh, geography and uh, elevation and all that. I am at a lower point right now. But I wanted to come and get a closer look, see how bad it was. So, not looking as bad right now as it did last night, obviously. You know, the fire looked a lot worse last night. Here comes the... Here comes the air. Where is that? There it is. See where he drops. I think he's gonna spin around and drop on the back side of that ridge there. We got some more aircraft up there. Looks like his uh, probably control. Let's 
to him. There he goes. Okay, so it looks like he's dropping right just at the bottom of that ridge there. Oh, and he did a second drop on the back side of the ridge. So at first he dropped at the bottom of the ridge and then right there behind the ridge. So yeah, this is what's going on with the fire right now. You can see a few hot spots over there. But not looking as bad as it did last night. But we're staying ready just in case. Right now the winds are still blowing in the north direction as you can see right here. They're blowing, the wind's blowing towards the stop sign. And that's north, and look at the trees now. Now the wind's starting to act up. So the wind is picking up a little bit. Right now as I'm parked here, I feel the wind blowing at my back. So it is blowing that fire, as you can tell by the smoke. It's blowing that fire further north, away from town. But there are homes down there, at the bottom of that ridge over there. There are homes down there. That'd be the homes off of Desert Front Road. And there's one of the other aircraft up there. It's kind of hard to video right now with this the glare. Doing my best. But there it is. That's one of the aircraft that's been uh, just circling above. Probably calling in the... Uh, choppers were to drop. This is our beautiful little town. Hopefully uh, the winds keep working in our favor and they get this taken care of. God bless you all. Have a good rest of your day.